Unsuspecting Adisamuidin, a cat pusher who was called while having his dinner on a Friday, did not know that would be the last call he would take. The Boblin Ojaudo was where this incident happened. Two men caught the head of Muidin, but they were caught while taking the head in a bag to another destination. The two men were arrested by the Nigeria Police Divisional Headquarters, Ojaudo, for further interrogation, but a crowd numbering about thousands forcefully broke into the station cell, brought out the suspects and set them ablaze. This is what is popularly called jungle justice, but in judicial language, it is extrajudicial killing, something treated as unlawful. We want to warn that jungle justice has no place in our constitution. It is not going to be allowed. We are not going to tolerate it. The CP has directed the full-scale investigation into that incident with the view to bring to justice those who had hand in the grace of murder of those suspects. No matter the offense committed by any suspect, he still remains a suspect. And it is only a court of competent jurisdiction that has the right to impose sanction on anybody who has been convicted, not a group of people or any or, or, or individual. Uh, this is the exact scene that the two suspects were set ablaze by the youths, angry youths of Ojaodo here in Yewa North local government. A visit to Ojaodo and to the police station. The police declined any information. Their suspicion looked like those who carried out the act are still around. This crew was also at the palace of Oloja of Ojaodo, Obaoladi Kwadetunji, who was not happy with the act. He said it has covered the track of others who might have been exposed during the investigation. I would have loved the situation to be calmed and police should be given the chance to do their work so that all these things will be revealed. For instance, now, the remain of this guy, the guy that they beheaded, we, 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 is, yet to be, is yet to be found. I didn't mean these two guys are still alive now. They will have told us this is where they dropped the body. This is the, the, the people that send them. We've been doing it so, 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 so years or so, 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 so days or months or so. They will have revealed many secrets. But, um, let us cool our temper. Once the security personnel have intervened in the issue, we need to let the security personnel to perform their duty so to know the real depth of the issue and those people that are still at fault or that may be consigned with the issue to get more and for the safety of our people in Ojaodon Township. Honorable Aruno Egugu is a member of the Good State House of Assembly who represents the people of this area. He also condemned totally the act. It's what I even hate because I have my own children too, which I don't pray that to happen to them or my family. Or so, but what the youth did is very, very totally wrong. It's very, very totally wrong. I condemn it. It's not what I support. Even I have blamed some youth who are there that you saw them doing this. And you cannot uh, advise them to not do that. He said, ah, I cannot near that place because the people are too much. Even I cannot even identify any one of them. Security operatives are still on the search for those who took laws into their hands. They have promised to bring everyone directly involved into the police net and also continue with the investigation of those found with a fresh human head. May Adisamu did so, the cat pusher, rest in peace. A similar situation was however averted at Elite Road, Idiaba Belkuta, days after, where another suspect alleged to have kidnapped a child for ritual was almost set ablaze by angry mob. 
he took the intervention of officers of Kenta Divisional Police Station for him to be rescued. The issue of jungle justice is again on the rise, especially at a period like this. Adequate public enlightenment, some experts say, is almost needed now. Bumi Adikun, OGTV News.